Good morning. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. It is a beautiful spring-like morning here in North Texas. It's about uh, 48 degrees outside, but inside this high tunnel, I'd say it's probably about 70. Gorgeous. You just saw my garlic out there. It did survive our extreme winter weather we had just a little over two weeks ago, guys. And look, it's already sunny and warm. Um, we're expected to get into the 80s this week. But this morning, what I'm going to show you is how to make some fermented cabbage. And I'm going to pick one of my beautiful heads of cabbage over here and show you how to do it using the ball fermentation kit. Best thing I ever came across. I tried to ferment some sauerkraut a couple of years ago and was not successful. But with this ball uh, canning kit or this ball fermentation kit, I was able to do it successfully and I have been enjoying that every day. It is rich with probiotics. Let me show you how to do it. And the ball fermentation kit was very reasonably priced, I think $14. So let's go. Look at this beaut. I almost hate to pick it, guys, but I have to. It is quite large and uh, it has formed a wonderfully hard head. So I'm gonna pull that up and uh, we are gonna get to working. Gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous head of cabbage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it up real good, make sure I get all the dirt off of it. And then we're gonna peel some of the larger leaves or all the larger leaves off of it because that will come uh, in handy here when we're getting ready to put our cabbage in our jars for fermenting. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut our cabbage in half and we're gonna get the core out of this beautiful head of cabbage. Okay, I have it chopped up. We're gonna put it in our plastic bowl. It smells so wonderful, guys, so fresh. Now you wanna to try to use as fresh of a head of cabbage you can get because you really need the moisture in it uh, to help your fermentation process. A dried out cabbage, you'll have to add brine to, which you can do, but uh, the fresher, the better. And you can use store-bought cabbage. You can get some from Sprouts, or you can get some from your local grocery store and do this very same thing. Just make sure it's pretty fresh because you're gonna need the liquid. So now I'm going to add, I have about three tablespoons of kosher salt. I'm not gonna add all of this. I'm just gonna start out sprinkling it on because this is gonna help bring the liquid out of this cabbage. And we want to massage this in. And then we're gonna let this sit until we start to see the liquid start being pulled out of the cabbage. This will shrink up quite a bit, so this may be only enough for a quart, but we'll see. So let's check back in a minute. So while that is sitting and letting uh, the liquid form, I want to show you this is the fermentation kit I got from Ball. In each of these packs, it comes with two springs and two lids. This is what's gonna help you uh, keep your fermenting process safe. So I'm also gonna add a clove of garlic and I'm gonna add a little bit of dill weed. Now I bought some uh, kimchi from Sprouts a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago and I have enjoyed that every day. So I'm kind of gearing this recipe to that kimchi which had dill and garlic in it and it is so good. 
So just in case I don't have enough brine or that cabbage while the salt is drawing out all the moisture, just in case I don't have enough brine, I got about a cup of filtered water here and about a, a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of that kosher salt. I'm gonna heat this up and let it dissolve and then it needs to go at room temperature, guys, before you add it to your jar just in case. So we're gonna have this ready. Hope we don't have to use it, but we wanna make sure we have enough brine to cover our cabbage. We're gonna keep massaging this in to break out that liquid in this cabbage and that salt's gonna help draw it out. Let's taste it. Already so good. There's a little bit of the core in there. Let me get that out of there. been about an hour guys so I have my cabbage there's quite a bit of liquid in there still don't know if we're gonna have enough I put about a teaspoon and a half of dried dill weed and a clove of garlic so now we are going to pack our jar and as we pack it you want to use a presser or a mullet, because you want to get out all that juice that you can. We want to pack this down as tight as we can get it. That dill gives it a very nice flavor. I can't tell you how fresh this smells. Put every bit of that in there. We're gonna pack this down and you can see, look how much liquid guys. And this is a, a whole head of cabbage. So if we were to continue on with another head, which I have another head out there, so I might start another jar today. But if we were gonna continue on, we would probably have plenty of liquid to keep our cabbage submerged. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of our room temperature brine that I made, just a little bit. I want to make sure to keep all the cabbage covered. So you can see I didn't have to use very much of it. So now we're going to take and we're gonna cover the top with one of those very large cabbage leaves. So you can see everything is submerged. You wanna wipe the top of your jar. You wanna make sure there's no nicks. Make sure there's nothing to inhibit um, a good seal. And this is what's brilliant about the ball fermentation system. So this will push it down and it will keep it below the water because you do not want any of your cabbage to come up and get airborne. So if you look on the top of this ball fermentation kit lid, it has a little air vent that will allow the air to escape as it's fermenting. And I'm gonna let this sit on my counter for about seven days and then I'll taste it and you can um, even leave it a little bit longer. But my last one that I did was at seven days and I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So here's the one I did about three or four weeks ago. It is absolutely delicious. It has the dill and the garlic in it. I used both purple and um, green cabbage in this and it turned out fantastic. Again, you can tell 
I've eaten quite a bit of this. I take a spoonful, maybe uh, two, two spoonfuls a day. This is uh, probiotic rich. It is not uh, processed or any kind of heat canning or anything. So you get the good, uh, I think it's lacto bacteria in your cabbage. So I'm so excited about this. You will see more. I will show you uh, the end in that one in the next video. But now this is gonna sit in a cool dry place in the corner of my kitchen for about seven to 10 days. You can go up to 14 days. Once you open it, you do want to refrigerate it. So good. Thank you for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. I got another video coming up shortly on those wicking tubs that so many of you have asked about, so stay tuned.